Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Rocco. I hope you're doing well. Over here we do Daz 3D tutorial videos to help you to get the most out of your own renders. Now Genesis 9 was released ooh, a couple of years ago now, isn't it? There's always been a few little issues and a few little problems that tends to keep people from making the jump fully over to Genesis 9 or to have people pull their hair out while they're using it. And one of the issues and one of the problems that Genesis 9 comes with is a problem with some of the joints that you can put your, your models and your characters into certain positions and things just deform. Uh, now, whether this is a problem with the base Genesis 9 model, perhaps, maybe, or maybe it's something that the, the PAs are doing that's interacting in a bad way with the model, who knows, that's, that's for Daz to sort out. However, these problems do crop up quite often. If we take a look, for instance, over in our viewport at our model that we've got here, everything on the surface might look okay. There's a couple of little clues that maybe not, but on the whole, it might look okay. But if we were to come down to this little camera that I've got set up and look at it from a different angle, what the hell's going on here? It seems she's got some deformity coming out of the top of her, her hip over here. And maybe there's something on this side where the hip is eaten into the pants that she's wearing. But it's not just that. If we come back up to the percept our perspective camera and just have a spin around and a stroll down a little bit, we can see that there's something going on here also at the back of a thigh. And if we were to come down back around the other way, we can see well, maybe, yeah, maybe not quite there as much, but maybe it is. Uh, so obviously there's something not right there uh, with what's going on with the model. And obviously this is, you can't put an image out like that. There's a problem with it. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to take a look at what's causing this within the sliders and with what's going on and then show you how to fix it so once we know what the problem is it's actually very easy to solve it because it's just a couple of sliders in the background which have been set in ways that they shouldn't be set uh, so what we need to be able to do is to come up to our scene tab and click on our model in this case the genesis 9 female up there and then we need to come on to the parameters tab now, one thing that you're going to need to be able to do to, to, to be able to fix this is to click on the parameters tab on the preferences and make sure that show hidden properties as a check mark next to it. So make sure it's ticked. So that's off. And if we come back, go into preferences, no tick mark. So give it a click and you'll notice then that the tick mark has appeared next to it. Uh, that's the first thing that we need to be able to do. And then make sure our model selected. Then we need to come up into this little search box up here. Now there's two problems that we've got here. There's actually the hip and the thigh, but it's not actually that, that's not actually true. It's actually the thigh and the shin that's the problem. Ah, there you go. So if we come up to this search box and we were to type in thigh, what we'll get here, certainly if we're on currently used, make sure you're on that, you'll see all the, the sliders that have been uh, have some value to them that are uh, that have thigh in the name. So you've got this one up here, Control L right thigh, whatever it is. Plus all these other ones that are. And it's, now the problem is it's one of these sliders that's the problem that's causing these deformations. And because I've experimented and played around, you'll actually find it's these two right here, the JCML underscore thigh bend, uh, and the JCMR thigh bend, the L and the R meaning the left and right, uh, respectively. So if we come to the left one and we can see it's set at 97.1 and we would just slide this slider down. If you just watch over there on the hip, if we just slide this slider down, it comes down. You might not have to go fully to zero. You might want to. But as you can see, we've taken that deformation out of her leg. And if we do with the right one, this one wasn't as set as high. It was only at a 40. If we take that one down, you can see that it's changed the hip round about you know, where it was. And we can now see the rest of the bikini bottoms. Uh, so that's it. So you might have to take them down to zero. You might not want to go fully, uh, but take them down to the, the, the level that you want them to be at, where it takes off that really ugly lump that we've got. Now, the reason why these uh, JCMs get set is that they are meant to help when the character's put into a pause. They're meant just to shift things a little bit around so that 
things are in place as they should be. But obviously it's not working quite as well as it's meant to. Now, as I say, whether that's a DAS problem or whether it's something the PAs are doing that isn't working well with the, 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 the underlying Genesis 9 model, that's for other people to work out and, and to, to try and solve. Uh, but that's how we fix it temporarily. It's just them couple of little sliders that are causing the bulk of the problems. There might be a few more down here that's causing little lumps and bumps that uh, you might not like the look of. So have an experiment with them if there's something there that you want to try and get rid of. And so we've now fixed her uh, hips. What we need to do now is to focus on these little crevices and dimples that are in the back of her thighs. Although, like I mentioned earlier, what we're looking for is something called shin. So if we just come to the uh, perspective camera again, the other side's a better example. So we'll look at that side. Uh, you can see there's this hole there in the back of her thigh. And as I mentioned, it's, it's, a, it's a shin controller that causes this problem. So if we come up again, back up to our, uh, with our model selected, back up to our little search box and put in shin and make sure we've got currently used uh selected we can see everything that's playing around with the with the shin all the helper things that are playing with the shin bone down here why it's affecting the thigh ask Daz. i don't know but uh so it's one of these now i happen to know it's the top two that's causing the problem so it's in this case it is the body underscore cbs underscore shin x156 p dash l l being of course the left leg and the r is the right leg uh, again some of these other ones may be causing some problems and some issues but uh, you'll have to play around to see if uh, they affect things too much but if we come to the left one and if we you keep an eye on the back of a leg there and just bring that slider down you can see it fixes it and puts it back into place you might not have to go all the way to zero it's maybe just a little bit exaggerated uh, we've got down to 37 then we've kind of now got a decent bend at the back of a leg and likewise if we were to come right the way around to the other side this one's not so bad so we probably don't have to do much if anything with this one just fatten out the back of the thigh a little bit uh, roughly in the same area and now when we come back and we look at our view through through our camera she looks relatively human uh she looks as if she's being fixed maybe i've gone a little bit too far but you know you can experiment to get the right number that you so want uh there's another problem with the shin one that i've seen where sometimes sliders from uh the odd model that you've got installed on your system get dialed in and again they'll appear under here somewhere uh, it doesn't happen with this model for some reason but i've seen it with other models where you know a, a shin slider gets loaded in and I, I don't know again i don't know why that's going on but uh that's how we fix it it's just mainly those two sliders that will cause you problems uh when you see these deformations deformations within your model and so hopefully now she's back being human we could actually use her in various poses and do a few renders with her. Anyway, I hope that's helped you out if you've been having problems with these uh, Genesis 9 joints. Uh, thank you for watching. If you've got any questions about this, about Daz in general or anything else, drop it down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Like the video, share it around. Really helps me when you do that. And I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye now.